Criminal law, the law of murder. The law of murder is set out in common law. The legal definition of murder comes from Sir Edward Coke. Murder is, when a person of sound mind and discretion, unlawfully killeth any reasonable creature in rerum natura, and under the king's peace, with malice aforethought either express or implied. The actus royce of murder consists of, 1. An unlawful killing. 2. Of a human being. 3. In the king's peace, murder is a result crime, therefore causation must be established. An unlawful killing can be committed by an omission. Please see separate videos for an explanation of causation and omissions in criminal law. Some killings may be classed as lawful. These include state-ordered executions, killing in self-defense, soldiers and police in the course of their duties and in some circumstances doctors can lawfully kill. Killing in self-defense is lawful where the force used is reasonable in the circumstances. In R.V. Palmer the use of a gun was held to be excessive force where the defendant was chased by three men who threw stones and sticks at him. The court held there was no alternative of manslaughter. Self-defense either succeeds in its entirety or fails. Soldiers and police may kill in the course of their duties but will be liable for murder if they go beyond their duty or use excessive force. In the controversial case of R.V. Clegg, Lee Clegg was a soldier serving in Northern Ireland. He was manning a checkpoint. A car approached at speed and Clegg, believing he was under attack by terrorists, opened fire. He fired four shots, three as the car approached and one as the car was driving off. It was the final shot which was fatal. Consequently, he was liable for murder as he was no longer protecting the area or under attack. Doctors may lawfully kill in limited circumstances. In R. V. Adams, Dr. Bodkin, 1957, it was held that a doctor could lawfully give a sufficient dose of pain relief to kill a patient, provided their intention is to relieve pain and not to kill. A person cannot consent to being killed as demonstrated in the cases of Diane Pretty and Tony Nicholson. Euthanasia is not legal in the UK. However, doctors may lawfully withdraw treatment knowing that it will result in death. For example, it is lawful for doctors to switch off life support. This was established in Airedale Hospital Trustees v Bland. This case concerned Anthony Bland who had been left in a coma following the crush at the Hillsborough disaster. In Re A, conjoined twins, the doctors were lawfully able to separate the conjoined twins knowing that it would result in death of the weaker twin. Sir Edward Coke's definition of murder requires the victim to be a reasonable creature in rerum natura, meaning a human being. Disability, no matter how extreme, does not prevent a person being a reasonable creature in rerum natura. In R.V. Inglers, a mother killed her son after he had suffered horrific injuries which left him brain damaged and disfigured. The Lord Chief Justice stated, however, disabled Thomas might have been, a disabled life, even a life lived at the extremes of disability, is not one jot less precious than the life of an able-bodied person. A fetus is not classed as a human being and therefore a person who kills a fetus cannot be charged with murder. In A.G. Ref, number 3 of 1994, the defendant could not be liable for murder when he stabbed his pregnant girlfriend. The baby was born alive but later died of the injuries. At the time of the stabbing the baby was a fetus. According to Rance v. Middown's Health Authority, a fetus becomes a human being when it has been fully expelled from its mother and has an independent existence. R. V. Malcherek and Steele establish that a person ceases to be a human being when their brainstem ceases to be active even if they are kept alive by artificial means. The requirement of in the king's peace excludes the killing of alien enemies in the time of war. In summary, the actus royce of murder is the unlawful killing of a human being in the king's peace. Murder can be committed by an omission. Murder is a result crime so the legal principles of causation also form part of the actus royce. This video is part of a series of videos on law from www.elawresources.co.uk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash at elawresources. It's free to do so and will help us to keep providing these videos.
check out our website which provides lecture outlines and case summaries. See also www.elawrevision.org.uk for revision games and quizzes. Thanks for watching.